With each passing day, news of new Aurelian victories came pouring in. The Southern Cross's actions spurred the surviving Aurelian troops to battle. Commanding Officer Diego Navarro has retreated and is currently being pursued by special forces. No one would have guessed that a ragtag band of soldiers smaller than a single unit could have put up such fierce resistance. December 10th, several days after the liberation of Griswold, I made my way towards one of the many cities busy recovering from the ravages of the war. Despite my usual misgivings, I could feel myself getting excited at the prospect of meeting the Southern Cross. But when I reached the base, I saw his emblem already gleaming in the skies above. I had heard that today was their first break in a while, but something must have changed that. I merely watched as the jet's contrail stretched far off into the distant sky. Suddenly, I was overcome by a strong sense of dread. The misappropriated financial and material resources were on a scale much greater than the airborne fortress alone could account for. Would the weapon at Griswold prove to be the missing piece to the puzzle? situation report. The forces hunting LASAF Commander Diego Navarro have been decimated at the Dannern Straits. It appears that LASAF has developed a new type of attack aircraft. I can't believe they had a working prototype from the aerial fortress. Sorry, back to the report. The new attack aircraft is named Fenrir, according to LASAF reports. From the satellite intel gathered, it appears that the aircraft took off from Sentry Island. We received information from intelligence services that there appears to be a factory on the island. There are two routes to Sentry Island. First, LASAF has a squadron of ace pilots, the Alex Squadron, situated near the Dannern Straits. They are currently headed for Sentry Island. If a pilot of that caliber were to pilot the new craft, we would have a lot of trouble on our hands. Another route is Cobalt Cave, the location of enemy research facilities. It is believed that they are preparing to move some sort of weapon. We don't know the details, but it is most likely a weapon to mount to Fenrir. The ace pilots and the unknown weapon are both major concerns but we can only deal with one of these threats. You must stop whatever LASAF has planned. You are about to enter LASAF territory. We don't have much intel to go on, but you need to decide how to proceed. learned that LASAP is using Cobalt Cave to secretly conduct tests on a new weapon. Intelligence states that the weapon is to be mounted to the Special Assault Aircraft Fenrir. It appears that LASAP got wind of our movements and is moving the operation to Archelon Fortress. We don't exactly know much about this weapon, but we need to put an end to its development ASAP. Simply destroying the transport frigates won't suffice. You must also destroy all warehouses on the island. 
We've been warned, however, that the warehouses are loaded with explosive chemicals. Fly up and out as soon as you hit a warehouse, or you'll be caught in the ensuing explosion. During the mission, allied amphibious units will be deployed to the island to gather intel for the upcoming assault on Archelon Fortress. Oh, yeah. 
We succeeded in preventing the delivery of LASAF's new experimental weapon, as well as destroying their research facility. The Allied Landing Force has apprehended an enemy scientist who is seeking asylum. He has informed us that the cargo LASAF attempted to fly off Cobalt Cave was in fact a microwave weapon of some kind. To think that they were able to develop such a device. It's a good thing we interrupted the delivery before it was too late. Thank <laughs> you.